In mathematics, and more specifically in abstract algebra, the term algebraic structure or generally refers to a set with one or more finitary operations defined on it that satisfies a list of axioms. Examples of algebraic structures include groups, rings, fields, and lattices. More complex structures can be defined by introducing multiple operations, different underlying sets, or by altering the defining axioms. Examples of more complex algebraic structures include vector spaces, modules, and algebras. The properties of specific algebraic structures are studied in abstract algebra. The general theory of algebraic structures has been formalized in universal algebra. Category theory is used to study the relationships between two or more classes of algebraic structures, often of different kinds. For example, Galois theory studies the connection between certain fields and groups, algebraic structures of two different kinds. In a slight abuse of notation, the word structure can also refer to just the operations on a structure instead of the underlying set itself. For example, the sentence, we have defined a ring structure on the set, means that we have defined ring operations on the set. For another example, the group can be seen as a set that is equipped with an algebraic structure, namely the operation, introduction, addition and multiplication on numbers are the prototypical example of an operation that combines two elements of a set to produce a third. These operations obey several algebraic laws. For example, a plus equals plus c and a equals c, both examples of the associative law. Also a plus b equals b plus a, and ab equals bar, the commutative law. Many systems studied by mathematicians have operations that obey some, but not necessarily all, of the laws of ordinary arithmetic. For example, rotations of objects in three-dimensional space can be combined by performing the first rotation and then applying the second rotation to the object. In its new orientation, this operation on rotations obeys the associative law, but can fail the commutative law. Mathematicians give names to sets with one or more operations that obey a particular collection of laws and study them in the abstract as algebraic structures. When a new problem can be shown to follow the laws of one of these algebraic structures, all the work that has been done on that category in the past can be applied to the new problem. In full generality, algebraic structures may involve an arbitrary number of sets and operations that can combine more than two elements. But this article focuses on binary operations on one or two sets. The examples here are by no means a complete list, but they are meant to be a representative list and include the most common structures. Longer lists of algebraic structures may be found in the external links and within category, algebraic structures. Structures are listed in approximate order of increasing complexity. Examples. One set with operations simple structures. No binary operation. Set. A degenerate algebraic structure or having no operations. Pointed set. S has one or more distinguished elements, often 0, 1, or both. Unary system. S and a single unary operation over S. Pointed unary system. A unary system with S a pointed set. Group-like structures. One binary operation. The binary operation can be indicated by any symbol, or with no symbol as is done for ordinary multiplication of real numbers. Magma or groupoid. S and a single binary operation over S. Semigroup. An associative magma. Monoid. A semigroup with identity. Group. A monoid with a unary operation, giving rise to inverse elements. Abelian group. A group whose binary operation is commutative. Semilattice. A semigroup whose operation is idempotent and commutative. The binary operation can be called either meet or join. Quasi group. A magma obeying the Latin square property. A quasi group may also be represented using three binary operations. Loop. A quasi group with identity. Ring like structures or ringoids. 
two binary operations, often called addition and multiplication, with multiplication distributing over addition. Semi-ring. A ringoid such that S is a monoid under each operation. Addition is typically assumed to be commutative and associative, and the monoid product is assumed to distribute over the addition on both sides and the additive identity satisfies 0 x equals 0 for all x. Near ring, a semi-ring whose additive monoid is a group. Ring, a semi-ring whose additive monoid is an abelian group. Lie ring, a ringoid whose additive monoid is an abelian group, but whose multiplicative operation satisfies the Jacobi identity rather than associativity. Boolean ring, a commutative ring with idempotent multiplication operation. Field, a commutative ring which contains a multiplicative inverse for every non-zero element. Clean algebras, a semi-ring with idempotent addition and a unary operation. The clean star, satisfying additional properties. Asterisk algebra, a ring with an additional unary operation satisfying additional properties. Lattice structures, two or more binary operations, including operations called meet and join, connected by the absorption law. Complete lattice, a lattice in which arbitrary meet and joins exist. Bounded lattice, a lattice with the greatest element and least element. Complemented lattice, a bounded lattice with a unary operation. Complementation, denoted by postfix. The join of an element with its complement is the greatest element, and the meet of the two elements is the least element. Modular lattice, a lattice whose elements satisfy the additional modular identity. Distributive lattice, a lattice in which each of meet and join distributes over the other. Distributive lattices are modular, but the converse does not hold. Boolean algebra, a complemented distributive lattice. Either of meet or join can be defined in terms of the other and complementation. This can be shown to be equivalent with the ring-like structure of the same name above. Hating algebra, a bounded distributive lattice with an added binary operation, relative pseudo-complement denoted by infix, and governed by the axioms x x equals 1, x equals x y, y equals y, x equals arithmetics. Two binary operations, addition and multiplication. S is an infinite set. Arithmetics are pointed unary systems, whose unary operation is injective successor and with distinguished element zero. Robinson arithmetic, addition and multiplication are recursively defined by means of successo. Zero is the identity element for addition and annihilates multiplication. Robinson arithmetic is listed here even though it is a variety, because of its closeness to Peano arithmetic. Peano arithmetic. Robinson arithmetic with an axiom schema of induction. Most ring and field axioms bearing on the properties of addition and multiplication are theorems of Peano arithmetic or of proper extensions. Thereof, two sets with operations module-like structures. Composite systems involving two sets and employing at least two binary operations. Group with operators. A group G with a set omega and a binary operation omega times GG satisfying certain axioms. Module. An abelian group M and a ring R acting as operators on M. The members of R are sometimes called scalars, and the binary operation of scalar multiplication is a function R times MM, which satisfies several axioms. Counting the ring operations these systems have at least three operations. Vector space. A module where the ring R is a division ring or field. Graded vector space. A vector space with a direct sum decomposition breaking the space in two grades. Quadratic space. A vector space V over a field F with a function from V into F satisfying certain properties. Every quadratic space is also an inner product space. Algebra-like structures. Composite system defined over two sets, a ring R and AR module M equipped with an operation called multiplication. This can be viewed as a system with five binary operations. 
two operations on R, two on M and one involving both R and M. Algebra over a ring, a module over a commutated ring R, which also carries a multiplication operation that is compatible with the module structure. This includes distributivity over addition and linearity with respect to multiplication by elements of R. The theory of an algebra over a field is especially well developed. Associative algebra. An algebra over a ring such that the multiplication is associative. Non-associative algebra. A module over a commutative ring equipped with a ring multiplication operation that is not necessarily associative. Often associativity is replaced with a different identity, such as alternation, the Jacobi identity, or the Jordan identity identity. Colgebra, a vector space with a co-multiplication, defined duly to that of associative algebras. Lie algebra, a special type of non-associative algebra whose product satisfies the Jacobi identity. Like algebra, a vector space with a co-multiplication, defined duly to that of Lie algebras. Graded algebra, a graded vector space with an algebra structure compatible with the grading. The idea is that if the grades of two elements are and B are known, then the grade of AB is known, and so the location of the product AB is determined in the decomposition. In a product space, an F vector space V with the bilinear binary operation from V times VF, four or more binary operations. By algebra, an associative algebra with a compatible algebra structure. Lie by algebra, a lie algebra with a compatible by algebra structure. Clifford algebra, a graded associative algebra equipped with an exterior product from which may be derived several possible inner products. Exterior algebras and geometric algebras are special cases of this construction. Hybrid structures. Algebraic structures can also coexist with added structure of non-algebraic nature, such as partial order or a topology. The added structure must be compatible, in some sense, with the algebraic structure. Topological group, a group with a topology compatible with the group operation. Lie group, a topological group with a compatible smooth manifold structure. Ordered groups, ordered rings and ordered fields. Each type of structure with a compatible partial order. Archimedean group, a linearly ordered group for which the Archimedean property holds. Topological vector space, a vector space whose M has a compatible topology. Normed vector space, a vector space with a compatible norm. If such a space is complete then it is called a Banach space. Hilbert space. An inner product space over the real law complex numbers whose inner products gives rise to a Banach space structure. Vertex operator algebra. Von Neumann algebra. A asterisk algebra of operators on a Hilbert space equipped with the weak operator topology. Universal algebra. Algebraic structures are defined through different configurations of axioms. Universal algebra abstractly studies such objects. One major dichotomy is between structures that are axiomatized entirely by identities and structures that are not. If all axioms defining a class of algebras are identities, then the class of objects is a variety. Identities are equations formulated using only the operations the structure allows and variables that are tacitly universally quantified over the relevant universe. Identities contain no connectives, existentially quantified variables, or relations of any kind other than the allowed operations. The study of varieties is an important part of universal algebra. An algebraic structure in a variety may be understood as the quotient algebra of term algebra divided by the equivalence relations generated by a set of identities. So, a collection of functions with given signatures generate a free algebra. The term algebra T. Given a set of equational identities, one may consider their symmetric, transitive closure E. The quotient algebra T, E is then the algebraic structure or variety. Thus, for example, groups have a signature containing two operators. 
the multiplication operator m taking two arguments, and the inverse operator i taking one argument, and the identity element t a constant, which may be considered an operator that takes zero arguments. Given a set of variables x, y, z, etc., the term algebra is the collection of all possible terms involving m, i, e and the variables, so for example, m, m, would be an element of the term algebra. One of the axioms defining a group is the identity m, equals e, another is m equals x. The axioms can be represented as trees. These equations induce equivalence classes on the free algebra. The quotient algebra then has the algebraic structure of a group. Several non-variety structures fail to be varieties because either it is necessary that 0, 1, 0 being the additive identity element and 1 being a multiplicative identity element, but this is a non-identity. Structures such as fields have some axioms that hold only for non-zero members of S. For an algebraic structure to be a variety, its operations must be defined for all members of S. There can be no partial operations. Structures whose axioms unavoidably include non-identities are among the most important ones in mathematics, e.g., fields and division rings. Although structures with non-identities retain an undoubted algebraic flavor, they suffer from defects varieties do not have. For example, the product of two fields is not a field. Category theory Category theory is another tool for studying algebraic structures. A category is a collection of objects with associated morphisms. Every algebraic structure has its own notion of homomorphism, namely any function compatible with the operation defining the structure. In this way, every algebraic structure gives rise to a category. For example, the category of groups has all groups as objects and all group homomorphisms as morphisms. This concrete category may be seen as a category of sets with added category theoretic structure. Likewise, the category of topological groups is a category of topological spaces with extra structure. A forgetful functor between categories of algebraic structures forgets a part of a structure. There are various concepts in category theory that try to capture the algebraic character of a context, for instance algebraic category, essentially algebraic category, presentable category, locally presentable category, monadic functors and categories, universal property.